everyone, welcome back to Raleigh Outdoor Adventures and thanks for checking out the video. We are finally heading out on our hog hunting trip. We've had to postpone it twice now because of bad weather, but we're finally heading out. We've been on the road for about six hours now. Uh, seven hours? Seven hours and we still got about two? Uh, an hour and a half. An hour and a half left, so uh, we still have a fair bit of distance to cover. But we're super excited, we're gonna be spending a few days out here looking for hogs. It is our buddy Steven's bachelor party, so it's extra special. So make sure you stick around for plenty of adventures. Before we go any further, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. It really helps it out. All right, we're gonna continue cruising and we'll catch up with you guys when we get there. Is yours. Oh! <laughs> That's awesome. Don't matter to me. <laughs> nice. This is cool. Nice big elk behind you guys. Oh. Not too bad. Yeah, they're pretty Go. sweet. Not so bad at all. Too. I'm assuming once we get one, we just fold him and he gets the yeah. quad. Yeah, I don't feel like dragging 500 pounds with it. I don't even think I'm gonna bring my bag in the bush. I'm just gonna bring a gun. It's cooking. Yeah, it's really warm. I don't want to open a window. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> Leave the door open. Like, I want to wear a hoodie, but I don't want to wear a hoodie. I don't want to wear a hoodie either, but I didn't. I was like, Hood. what are we bringing? Bow, bow. Like, if it's anything thin, the bugs are gonna go right through it. Yeah, I'm gonna wear thin gloves. And... See, that's the one thing I forgot. I was like, had everything laid out, ready to go in the bag, and I forgot. Hey, there you go. Be happy. Just go out here, jump out of a tree and pop a hog, and just go to town Rambo style. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh <laughs> nope. <laughs> Bloop. All right, you guys ready? Let's go. Might as well. Shoot a not wasting time, eh? No, no, not at all. This is so big, man. Like, guys honestly just probably gotta find another thing and Boom. hunker down. I think like, that's all, really. It, it, no one's gonna gain anything if you can only see five yards and you're yeah. just trucking through the bush. Yeah. Yeah, find a good spot to sit and wait. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, try to make sure we're not all shooting at each other. If we all have orange on, like, yeah. Just make sure what's behind you if you're shooting at a pig. Then check your background. Yeah, check the background. I'll put my GPS on and we all have no clue what the nope. strategy is. Nope. Nope. None nope. at all. This, the pigs can't, like, confirm, can't go anywhere outside the cover, right? I don't think so, no. So no. there's no, like, we're not just going to go and push them off into the... And we're in the so, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or we just spook them so bad they go right through the fence. If someone hears a shot, just regroup back here and... We can go in and drag it out. Okay. What do you think, Jason? Hey, Here's a shot. Everybody come out to the gate or whatever. And we have to regroup. You only need six guys to pull a pig out. Nothing like six guys.
fence. No uh, pegs yet. But lots of sign. So that's good. Definitely thought that was a pig. Definitely thought that was a pig. You see That's a sign. You saw a tent. Hmm? You saw a tent. What? Oh. Yeah, but there, I was in between the pigs and the shot. <laughs> uh, actually, I was probably 100 yards in the bush when it's 50 yards in the so bush. So you saw him or what? No, so I seen him a few times when I was yeah, walking. Yeah, when they were walking, because we were kind of like kitty corner. Yeah. And then I was like, oh man, we're like 20 yards apart. I'm going to cut way left. So I went out about 100, 150 yards left. And then I started going uh, back straight uh, again. And then yeah, so, I seen the pigs. I'm like, oh, the pigs are between him and me. Oh. I didn't want to shoot towards him, but he was actually further back in the bush. Yeah. Well, better to be safe than sorry. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But that's uh, the issue I think we're going to have. We're, gonna, we're just going to have designated guys post up and the yeah. bush. Yeah, I know. Fancy, eh? Nice. We played a poker the other day and there was a cat in our buddy's place and Craig took Benadryl without knowing it was like sleepy and like in an hour he was like I'm ready for bed. He's like, like falling asleep at the table. I've been drinking since like one in the afternoon. As said caution may cause drowsiness and right below it was don't mix with alcohol. So one guy post here and one guy post here and then a guy so who wants to post up? Okay. I can. Wait. I'll walk. You'll walk? Yeah, I'm fine walking. So where do you want to sit, Dean? Which spot? Tree stand or? Tree stand, you can get a higher, you might have a better chance. Yeah, yeah. 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 You want to go tree stand? Sure. Yeah. So the tree stand's here. Well, better luck next time, eh? You wanna go check out the wall or go back there? I'm gonna check out the wall. Hmm? Let's go check out the wall. Okay, I'll just send him a text so they know where we're going.
Yeah. So I, I walk down there, go around the curve, and there's a, a piglet 80 yards ahead of me just sitting there. I was like, okay, I'm gonna shoot the piglet, I don't care. <laughs> so I get the piglet lined up, I want to shoot it right in the chest or in the shoulder. Click. Oh, my safety's on. Okay, great. Take that off, and then it starts running that way. So I only see its ass. And then Big Mama comes out. The thing's huge, but it's running. So like three or four of them ran across. So, so far we have seen about 12 pigs, but got no clean shots off. Uh, Steven had a moment where he uh, had a shot, but uh, the safety was on and had an oopsie. But at least we know the pigs are here. I haven't seen any yet, but I'm sure hoping to get some action soon. Uh, we're going to be cooking up some food and getting back out there. Um, so make sure you're sticking around for more action out in the bush. two opportunities and she's like, well, why didn't you shoot it? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Steven, why didn't you shoot it? Up we go again. a pretty long shot, but I watched the ground land right in front of the pig, the dirt spray, but hopefully my second attempt will be successful. today but I think uh, we have some good opportunities. We just got back from night one of our hunt. Unsuccessful. I missed. Oops. But hopefully we have more success tomorrow. We are changing and heading to bed because we got to be up bright and early. Catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning everyone. It's currently 6 30 in the morning. I just got up. Steven and Craig are still in the cabin. Uh, a couple of the other guys went out earlier to do some hunting. Uh, Jeremy, one guy here, he got a pig, so we're going to be looking at that. Um, pretty exciting, it's a really nice looking animal, so hopefully we'll go down and look at that in a bit. Uh, I kind of want to get some coffee going because I'm in some desperate need. And uh, other than that, we're just going to be getting up to some more hunting today. Hopefully there's a little bit more action. That's pretty big. Yeah. Mm. Congratulations. There. Where are we? Hey, hey, do you want? There we go. Nice. Go. Get the the you, guys. you guys go uh, get in the bus. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I think the plan is to stay here for about another hour until about 9 30. And then I am going to go get coffee and breakfast in my system because. I am hurting, I am starving, and I really do need a cup of coffee pretty bad. But 
that's the plan. I'm gonna stay here till about 9.30 and then we'll go do food and coffee. And we'll be back out here hunting. Hopefully we can get a couple more pigs on the ground. coffee time. We walked through the bush and out the gate. Oh, I kind of still want to go walking. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there, there had to be other ones there. Well, it's a small one. Yeah, it was a small one. Well, maybe uh, just a little we'll walk this way. Yeah, they were running that way, so maybe we'll go Is there more than one? I only saw one. I only seen the one. Uh, but, Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My yeah. hand go. Wow. Look at that. Look at you. Wow. So we got a second pig, but it's uh, pretty small. So we got about one and a quarter pigs so far. Uh, but so far so good. Still have. Uh, 
one full day and an evening left to hunt but it is but it is absolutely pissing cats and dogs outside uh when i was hiking and walking around hunting uh there was a lot of rain coming down and i was soaked and it's coming down about 10 times harder right now well it doesn't look like i got a pig tonight but we still have tomorrow so hopefully be able to find another opportunity but we do have a few piggies already which is better than nothing hopefully we're able to uh, beg for tomorrow but, yeah i'm just heading back to camp now i'll catch up with you guys when i get there well one of the guys got a third pig which is really exciting they're just out there cleaning it up now but just wanted to update you guys on uh, what's been going on good morning everyone it is unfortunately 9 30 in the morning it has been extraordinarily uneventful the rain was so bad this morning we could barely see in front of our faces uh, we've all just been hanging out in the, the cabin there's a couple guys running around out in the bush right now it, the right rain just let up kind of just getting going i'll probably hunt this afternoon and evening but probably just hanging out until then which isn't so bad i'm gonna get coffee and breakfast going because well it's 9 30 and i haven't done anything yet and uh, then we'll go from there And it's coffee time. So one of the pigs that we got last night, we we're just uh, working on right now, uh, processing it down, and we're gonna get into the coolers to keep. So that's what we're doing right now. We're waiting for a uh, good opportunity to go hunting to present itself. And look at that, the rain's just starting as we're trying to do some work. Love it. Looks like Craig's planning on doing some shooting before we get out there. Apparently he bumped his uh, rifle scope when we were walking around last night and he canted it a little bit. So he wants to do a little bit of zeroing work. So I think that's what we're gonna get up to. I'd say you're hitting true still. <laughs> yeah, well, you can hit the, a plate at least. Tell me, tell me everyone, which one was it? Well, doesn't look like there's any pigs around. That's unfortunate. Cut you guys back to camp. All right, well, I am back at the cabin now and uh, I'm the first one back. It's starting to get dark now, but everyone's just about showing up. Someone's walking down the laneway now. I'm gonna head to bed because it's 11.30 p.m. now. I still gotta get up early for the drive back. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, everybody. It's our final morning here. I just woke up. I'm the first one to get moving. It's currently 6.30 in the morning. Uh, we're not hunting this morning. So uh, I'm just packing the gear up. We are boogieing and get everything sorted out. And then hopefully Craig will be moving by then and we can get out of here. All right, well, that's it for us on this one. Thanks so much for checking out the video and thanks for your support. Make sure you're looking back for more adventures in the great outdoors. All right, guys, until next time, I'll catch you later.